You are now watching a game called Colorblind Game, which attracted over 100 million views on TikTok and 600 million views on Instagram. Do you know that you can easily design and publish this game using a powerful e-learning tool named Active Presenter? Not only interactive games, but also quizzes, tests, and e-learning courses can all be created inside Active Presenter. So in today's video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to build a quiz game, especially this colorblind game. But first, you will need to go to the description box below to download and install Active Presenter, and then download to open the project game that I have given away for free. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more helpful videos from us. Are you done? Alright, I'm Clay from Atomy Systems, and let's move on to the tutorial part. Any games or projects need visual resources like image, audio, or video to make information more intuitively. So, to save your effort while designing, after opening a blank project in Active Presenter, go to the View tab, turn on Resources pane, then click the green plus icon here to import all resources from your local folder into the Active Presenter project. In all games or projects you design, we encourage you to use the Slide Master feature to maintain a consistent layout appearance. So still in the View tab, choose Slide Master. You now can drag an image in the Resources pane to the canvas to change the background image of the whole project at once. Finally, remember to untick Auto Advanced checkbox in Slide Properties pane to avoid auto-moving slides. This will allow players to self-control navigations among the game using their own interactions. Now, close the Slide Master view to return to the working canvas. Okay, so this step is optional, but normally, music edit will uplift player's mood and make the game more interesting. So drag the audio file into the canvas. Right-click it, choose play over multiple slides, and then go to the right pane, tick loop, and background music, so the audio would play smoothly between slides. We have finished the preparation phase. Now, it's time we dealt with the game setup and the quiz structure. First, decide how many slides you want to have in the game. For example, with this colorblind game, I will have 11 slides, 1 open slide, 9 question slides with 9 quizzes, equivalent to the increasing difficulty level and the last line is the ending slide for congratulations feedback with this slide i just want a highlight game title with a start button for players to click and start the game so i add text and button from the insert tab change colors to more lively ones. Done! We will set up interactions for the start button later. Basically, when you use the default question in Active Presenter, there will be three parts title, question area, and a submit button. All can be visually customized as you want. Check out our tutorial site I have placed on the screen now and see how each question type can be adjusted. Tutorial videos are also included there. Back to the colorblind game, we don't need three parts clearly, but we will design the game player layout from the very beginning instead. Stay tuned to part 3 to know how to design this question slide and how to make them interactive.
similarly to the open slide, I just want a text like congratulations or thank you and a button for users to replay the game. In this game, the game area in the question slide is designed in 3x3 format. Insert a shape first. Change its color and size. Then multiply it by 8 times. Next, choose a grid box from the Insert tab. Set three columns for this grid box. Make the box square by adjusting the number on the right pane. And then drag and drop all shapes into each chai box in order to align these shapes. Then change one shape to a slightly different color. This is how a question slide is designed. You only have to copy and paste to multiple slides depending on how many questions you like to have and then change the color of each quiz based on the difficulty level. The logic of this colorblind game is that if we choose the right answer, the game will move forward one slide. So very easy, you choose the shape with the different color first, then go to the interactivity type, choose on click event and action, go forward one slide. The correct interaction has been set. The timer is the time limit for each question. You will add it from the insert tab Choose Progress Timer. Customize its look as you want. In the Timer section of Interactivity tab, uncheck Match Objects Duration, then adjust the time you want to set. Check Countdown box. And you can also add an interaction too by adding an incorrect feedback action when the timer finishes, like this. Okay, so in the case players click the wrong shape, an incorrect sound will be played together with an incorrect or game over feedback, and the timer is also stopped. So three actions happen at the same time, we will need to use the advanced action feature in Active Presenter to group these actions together and reuse easily later. So open advanced action dialog in the questions tab. We will create a new advanced action and name it if wrong. Then we will add the play audio action choose incorrect one from the built-in list untick this option next add the show feedback layer action incorrect feedback uncheck blocking too we add a new parameter then we enter the name we choose animated timer for type Add pause timer action, click to edit, tick the param checkbox and choose timer. Then we will click save and close. Now in the events and actions of each wrong answer, we will add the on click event, choose advanced action action and choose if wrong. Then, select value for timer parameter. Then repeat this step for all wrong answers. And now, we are done. Hold on, what about the start and replay button I created earlier? With these two buttons, 
you still use the on-click event. The start button will have the go forward one slide action. And meanwhile, the replay button will have the restart presentation action. As you already know, with each interaction of players to the game, a different result may happen. It can be right, wrong, or incomplete. Therefore, in each case, we will need a different feedback message. And all these feedback layers will be controlled in the Feedback Master in the View tab of Active Presenter. Coming up to the publishing phase. If you want a full motion video to upload on YouTube like how we are doing here, you will need to export your projects to a video format. However, with this format, all interactivity is disabled and players cannot interact with or click on the shapes or buttons. Instead, to let players interact with the game, you will need to export to HTML5 and upload the output to a web page or export to SCORM or XAPI package and then upload it to the learning management systems of your organizations for further abilities like tracking players' performance. That's it! I know that it has been a long video, but I believe that with the details I guide, you can now successfully build your own colorblind game and even come up with more creative ones. And don't worry if you cannot remember everything I said in the video because I have placed the written tutorial in the description box with some more advanced tips for you to level up your game. Okay, goodbye for now and see you again in the next videos.